The burn center was at full capacity within a day or so after 9-11. The first patient was a person who had 100% of their body surface area that was burned. It's been 20 years since 9-11, and when we speak about it, it seems like it was just yesterday. Burn Center was crucial during 9-11. In truth, it was really the epicenter of care because most of the injuries were burn and fire related. On September 11th, I was working as a nurse on the floor. And we first heard that a plane had hit one of the towers. I was home that day. Andrew and I worked opposite days because we both worked on the unit and we had small children at the time. We initiated the hospital-wide disaster plan. The burn patients started coming in bursts and the goal was to get them up to the burn unit as quickly as they possibly could. Physicians, doctors, nurses, physical therapists, respiratory therapists, everybody was ready and we were, we were ready to go. I'm a physical therapist at Burn Center, and September 11 was my second day at orientation when I found out the uh, towers were down. We were told that we need to immediately report to the area of Ohio. I pretty much ran to the unit. I've never seen that many patients with this extent of injury. It's a long process to get over a burn. Happens in a flash, changes your life, always leaves a mark. There's a long period of time in the hospital. It's very labor intensive, from the beginning all the way through to the end of their recovery. There were several patients that had huge burns. On average, the burn size was over half of the body surface, and the inhalation injuries were awful. It either was from the smoke or inhaling flaming jet fuel. In the first three months, we did almost 180 operations. About a third or more of those were on the World Trade Center patients. Coming to work the next day was probably emotionally the most difficult day for me personally. By the time I came to the hospital, I saw a line of people around the block just trying to find out if their loved ones were at the hospital that particular day. I was the front desk clerk on the burn unit. I was the first person that spoke to families, the first person that they came to and they were coming up to the desk and showing pictures of family members. And it was like picture on top of picture, like all I could say at the time was like, I'll take your name, your phone number, and if this person shows up, we'll give you a call. That was like the hardest time for me because I felt so bad because none of the pictures that they were showing me, none of these people were there. I mean, the people that did have family members there, we took them to the waiting lounge, we offered them every and anything we could do to keep these people comfortable at that time. It wasn't just our tragedy, it was everybody's tragedy. and. We started getting cards and letters and things from school children who wrote to wish the, the burn patients well and to show support for those of us in New York City and at the hospital. 
So we started every day pasting those cards and letters on the walls of the eighth floor, the entire eighth floor. And they didn't come down until the last person left. We have some of them framed and they're still hanging on the eighth floor up until this day. It seems like when I walk past these um, letters and cards sometimes, and you think back to that time, it's gut-wrenching. It's still painful. I don't know how we did it, but we did. We made it. People did survive through the extreme hard work and dedication of the staff at the Burn Center, many who still work there. When I look back on 9-11, I feel so blessed to have been able to do something positive in a moment of tragedy for our whole city and country. I, I, feel, I feel gratitude for that.